You want to support Roller March Unfiltered? Be sure to join our Bring the Funk fan club. Every dollar that you give to us supports our daily digital show. There's only one daily digital show out here that keeps it black and keep it real. It's Roller Martin Unfiltered. Support the Roller Martin Unfiltered daily digital show by going to RollerMartinUnfiltered.com. You can make this possible. This weekend, of course, uh, Bloomberg spoke with Virginia, the, the Virginia Democratic Party. Uh, and as he took the stage, let's just say he had a slight interruption. Chair Schrecker for inviting me here tonight. What about another round of applause for her? Okay. That sign said he protects racist systems. Joining me right now is the woman who posted that sign, Jasmine Leward, co-founder of Richmond for All. Jasmine, how you doing? I'm doing well. How are you? Uh, doing great. How did you get so close to that damn stage and <laughs> you know, put that sign up? Well, it seems like $150 a pop. You know, there you go. Um, I just kind of walked up, um, said what I had to say. Uh, what happened after uh, they grabbed you and then tore your sign down? Um, I'm not sure what happened to my sign, but um, the security guard escorted me out. I walked. I almost went out the wrong door. He was like, you can't get out that way. I said, thank you. Asked him how his night was going. He said it was going all right and told him to have a good weekend. He said same. And I met my uh, fellow friends outside. Why did you uh, put the sign up? Uh, I put it up, honestly, because I was really, really tired. Um, I I do organizing work here uh, in, in Richmond, and I've met a lot of people. I've heard a lot of stories, and um, we have a serious poverty issue here in in the city and um it's often marketed as if you know this is the best place to be if you're black and i was just really exhausted um and you know we had been fighting for a long time uh, a specific deal um, that we just found some closure on on monday uh that would have exacerbated gentrification here and um, I'm usually not a, a foreground person. I like to stay and work in the background. And it really did come to that for me of, you know, just being fed up with the, the way things are, being hurt by um, the people I see who are suffering just due to racist systems. Um, and so uh, I just knew I had to do something. The exact words didn't come to me until a little bit before the event. But, um, you know, with Richmond for All and um, with my friend on the inside who was there, uh, you know, I was able to to say what I had to say. Um, are you shocked, surprised, bothered by just the sheer number of Black endorsements that Michael Bloomberg has received and by the lack of critical analysis with regards to his record, his, com his stop and frisk, his comments about redlining, housing in New York as well? I'm not shocked. Um, I am not... Uh, it's kind of, for me, just a testament to how this system has been built um, a lot of times. Uh, Black women running for office, uh, black folks who are looking to really make a positive change are met with the barrier of funding. And, um, you know, we tell ourselves stories about what that money will or not or will not do when it comes to uh, the choices we make. And it may be that you may not bend towards one person's will uh, because they uh, donated thousands of dollars to your campaign. But it is quite possible that you won't speak out when they do wrong. And um, that is equally as harmful. So uh, that, it does not surprise me. I am not upset, but what I wanted to do was give people the opportunity to hop off a train that was going in a very bad direction. Mm -hmm. Who should they be hopping the train all for? If, if, um, if, that, if, that decision is up to them. I uh, really uh, am thankful for all of the work that has been put into the Movement for Black Lives Policy platform that lays out the groundwork uh, to really make systemic changes. Uh, both at the local, uh, federal, and state level. Um, that's what I think all candidates should look to. 
uh, if they want to uh, have a vision for black lives that benefits black people. Um, when you look at this race, obviously Bloomberg is going to be in tomorrow's debate, but he, he's, he's had events, but he really hasn't had town halls. He hasn't taken questions from people, hasn't done many media interviews except for major uh, national platforms. Uh, what should be asked of him? I think the question, how does he feel like his platform measures up with the platform that's been put forth by, forth by the movement for black lives? And let him answer for himself. Well, hopefully that happens. I know we are trying to make an effort uh, to talk to him as well, and so we shall see uh, Jasmine uh, uh, Leeward. Go ahead. Yes, I'm sorry. I didn't want to interrupt you. Go ahead. To be clear, I feel like all candidates should be asked that question. Absolutely. All right, Jasmine, we appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you so much. All Thank right. You. All right, folks, back to our Goldmark Unfiltered video in just one moment. Are you looking to enhance your leadership or that of your team in 2020? Join our newest online course and mastermind group, How Successful People Think. Dr. Jackie Hood Martin will be your guide as you learn timeless leadership principles to apply to daily living. The offer expires February 28th to register or start the online course. Go to www.livetolead.com forward slash Leesburg, www.live, L-I-V-E, number two, L-E-A-D.com forward slash Leesburg. Now back to your Roland Martin Unfiltered video. You want to check out Roland Martin Unfiltered? YouTube.com forward slash Roland S. Martin. And subscribe to our YouTube channel. There's only one daily digital show out here that keeps it black and keep it real. It's Roland Martin Unfiltered. See that name right there? Roland Martin Unfiltered. Like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's YouTube.com forward slash Roland S. Martin. And don't forget to turn on your notifications so when we go live, you'll know it.